math, 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 math. Presenting the product rule. Hello. You're back on YouTube here watching me do uh, some examples with calculus and I want to run through a, a trilogy of, of math for you using the product rule, the quotient rule, and the chain rule. So basically this is your uh, product rule and it um, basically involves filling in four blanks. So that's the formula I'm going to use for the next question. All right, so here we are with our first example of the product rule. And we're going to follow that procedure that I just listed on the board a second ago. We're going to find the derivative of this entire thing. But before we do that, we're going to change that square root and make it x to the half power, because they mean the same thing. Now, you could distribute that through and add the exponents and use the power rule to get the answer. But I want to show you an example of using the product rule to get there. With the product rule, there are four blanks that you have to fill out. Two of the four blanks are very easy to, to fill in. That's an easy one to fill in, and so is this. Because remember, in those spots are the first thing and the second factor that appear. To fill in those other missing blanks right there, you need to use the power rule. It's the first times the derivative of the second thing. So the derivative of the second thing would just be 6x plus 8. And you get that by using the power rule. The product rule finishes with the derivative of the first thing that's there. Derivative of the first thing is 1 half x, and now you have to lower the exponent by 1. 1 half take away 1 is the same thing as 1 half take away 2 halves, which is negative 1 half. This little extra writing down here, you know, it's kind of nice to make sure that you don't make a mistake when it comes to subtracting 1 from those exponents. Now from here, I'm expecting my students to clean it up a little bit. So from here, we're just going to use some algebra to simplify what's left behind. We're going to add the exponents when we distribute this through, giving us 6x to the 3 halves power plus 8x to the half power. When you distribute this half x to the negative a half power into the parentheses, you'll get positive 3 halves x to the 3 halves power because 2 and negative 1 and a half or negative a half add up to 1 and a half which is 3 halves when you distribute this to the 8 half of 8 is 4 so you get plus 4 and then adding the exponents x to the first times x to the negative a half the exponent here is 1 1 plus a negative a half is positive a half. All that's left to do then is just combine any like terms. So we've got 6x to the 3 halves here, and we've got 3 halves x to the th 3 halves here. So that's, that counts as 1 and a half x's. So you could just combine those to say uh, 7 and a half x's to the 3 halves power. And then you've got two like terms here, 12x to the half. All right, that's the first example, using the product rule to get the derivative. All right, now I'm going to show you a few other rules uh, in two other videos. So stay tuned and watch the exciting middle chapter on the quotient rule.